In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the look of the Lifter LMS access plans. So an access plan determines the terms of enrollment for a Lifter LMS course. And uh, we can see access plans if we head to edit on any of our courses and scroll down, we can see this access plan section where we can determine the terms of enrollment. For this course example, I have a one-time payment set up for $100 or a two-time payment of $60 set up. So uh, once you have your access plan set up, uh, we can kind of start the process of uh, building our custom access plans. So this is what Lifter LMS looks like out of the box. You can see it says start today, free and enroll. And this enroll uh, is pretty much just going to link me to a page that's going to say purchase, plan, and then an ID. And with the purchase link I have on my one-time and two-time payments, if I were to copy the link address and open it in a, a new tab here, Let's go into a new window. You can see I have a very similar link, just purchase plan and then a specific number at the end. And so what we can do is pretty much take that link and build out a custom access plan box. So if I head back here, we can see uh, this is pretty much just a heading. So start today and then some, you can add a description here along with a button. And so we can actually recreate that in Elementor and I'll show you real quick kind of how I typically do that. I'll just mostly add a, new section, put an intersection for a little more customization options, and I'll go ahead and make like a box. As you can see here, there's a little gray box, and you can kind of style it however you'd like, but I just mostly will add a column background along with a, you know, maybe a one pixel column border that's black, and then a box shadow. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll add maybe a heading. We'll just say, oops, didn't look like a dry, uh, went in there. There we go. So now I have my heading and the Lifter Elmas access plan just says start today. I'm just going to write one time payment. And we can, you know, customize the style of this a little bit. We'll just say Tahoma font and about 30 uh, size and center align that. And then I'll just add maybe a text editor for maybe a description. Uh, we'll just say like, in this access plan, it's one time payment of $100 for access to the course. And, you know, you can style this up as well. We'll just make it 20 and then send a line real quick here. Uh, and then if we examine the lifter plan again, we can see we have an enroll button. We can recreate that with just a regular Elementor button. Let's just add this in here. Sometimes it doesn't work to drag this stuff in, but uh, there we go. And we'll just say buy now in our button. And our link is going to be from the, the access plan. So the one-time payment, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link address. And I'm gonna put that here in the link box so that when someone clicks this button, they're gonna go ahead and uh, head to that, that buy now page. And uh, what I can do is I can actually clone this section uh, if I were to duplicate it like this, and then I can actually uh, delete, and it's actually I don't have enough space here, so I'm gonna delete this uh, this column real quick, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a column margin, that way I have a little bit of separation, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Uh, now if I duplicate it, you see I have some, some nice separation here uh, between my one time and, and what will be my two time payment, and I'll go ahead and just change this to two time payment, and then you know, two time payments of $60 for access to the course. And so uh, what I want to do as well is I use a plugin called Dynamic Visibility for Elementor. It's a free plugin on the WordPress repository that allows you to say, I only want this section to be visible to visitors or I only want it to be visible for people who are logged in. I only want this section to be visible to visitors. So if I go ahead and um, uh, let's, let's actually link up my second access plan first and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's just link this up to my second purchase plan and update. So now if I go view, I'm logged in as the admin. So I'm not actually gonna see my access plans on my course. Let's go check it out. So I shouldn't see my access plans. It should just kind of be blank here. But if I go in as someone who's maybe a visitor and they haven't purchased the course, uh, they're gonna see that the access plan there. There we go. So as a visitor, I can see these access plans and I can go ahead and click buy now uh, for the $100 payment, or I can go click my two-time payment for two-time payments of $60. So that is kind of a functional replacement for the Lifter LMS access plan system. 
and you can kind of customize those two boxes uh, however you'd like. If you'd like to you know, change the color of the button, style it up, add a longer description, you can kind of go anywhere with that from here. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.